that if any man be in Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Hallelujah. Then the Bible says, old things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. Praise the Lord. That's what you are looking at today. Now, the Bible says in verse 16 that we know, um, um, henceforth know we, no man, that is Jesus Christ after the flesh, through, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know him no more. Amen. How we know him is in the spirit. Now verse 17 says, therefore, if any man, hallelujah, be in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Ah, I, don't, I, I don't feel like starting. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now the Bible says, if any man, any man, and man there is not gender. Amen. It's neither male or female. Hallelujah. It's anyone, male or female. Praise the Lord. Any man. Praise the Lord. Any black man. <laughs> any white man. Hallelujah. Meaning the gospel is not just for the whites. It is also for the blacks and the greens and the reds. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The gospel was not a tool that was used by the whites to enslave the blacks. No. Hallelujah. The gospel is for any man. If any man. Because the gospel delivers man from the bondage of sin. All men, white men, black men, short men, tall men, hallelujah. The gospel delivers any man from any tribe. It doesn't matter which tribe you come from. The gospel delivers any man from any tribe. Amen. The gospel is not for particular tribes, no. It's not just for the Jews, no. It is for the Jews and the Gentiles. Neither the Jews nor Gentiles. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to Jesus. You are first a Christian. <laughs> you know, some say, oh, you know what, me, I'm a Luo first. Before I'm a Christian. In other words, I have added Christianity on, of, on top of my Luoism. <laughs> Luoism. Or I've add, added uh, my uh, 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 cuteness. Uh, Kikuyu-ness. <laughs> Usapere. On top of my Christianity. On, on, I've added Christianity on top of my Usapere. No! No, 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 no. No. <laughs> if any man... Amen. The gospel goes in and converts that Luo man <laughs> into a Christian man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you, you become a Christian who happens to have come from a Luo tribe or from a Luo community. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So that this thing about tribalism in the church will die Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Let there be freedom today in Jesus' name. The gospel is for any man, for the young and for the old. There is no special gospel for the young, for the youth. No! There is no special gospel for the youth church. And another senior gospel for the older ones. The gospel is one. It is the same. For any man <laughs> praise the lord that same gospel is able to save the child is able to save that youth and is able to also save the old man Amen. no one should lie to you no enjoy your youth enjoy your youth 
get saved later. You are lying to yourself. You are cheating yourself because there are many youths nowadays who say, oh, let me enjoy my youth. Ni furahide. Ni pige sherehe. Alafu later on, I will get born again. You are lying to yourself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The gospel is for any man who is wealthy or poor. The gospel can reach the poor. Hallelujah. The gospel can reach the wealthy. Even the wealthy, they need the gospel. Don't be cheated because you have a house. Or someone, because they have a house, they are enjoying themselves. No. Or just because they have a car, they're enjoying themselves. No. No. <laughs> Even after getting or building that house, it will not be enough. Praise the Lord. It's the gospel that counts. The gospel is for any man. Hallelujah. It says, if any man be in Christ Jesus Christ. In, be, be in Jesus Christ. If any man be in Christ. The gospel for everyone. If the man be in Jesus Christ. Because you are preached to the gospel so that you get in <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says, in Jesus. So the first thing I want to tell you about your identity is that you are in Jesus. You are not just with Jesus. You are in inside. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Where are you? In Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is not an addition to our lives. Praise the Lord. He's not an addition. At the I am adding. I'm adding at, at the I must stay saved. So, so, so when, when it gets to a, a, a season or a period in my life when, you know, something is happening that, let, let me put Jesus aside. <laughs> you know, you take him and put him aside. And then there are moments when you take him and bring him back. No! If any man be in, in Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus is not a supplement to our lives. He's not been added to, do you know, he's not been brought by God to supplement <laughs> who we are. No. No, 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 no. Something happens to us when we are in Jesus. Hallelujah. The gospel is not about an addition of a, a rule in our lives, you know, or, or some laws that have been added. Oh, be baptized. Now you are a Christian. No, 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 no. It's not just something that you do. It is who you are that we are talking about. We are talking about our identity in Jesus. So what does the gospel do? The gospel converts us. The gospel changes us. And how are we changed when we are born again? Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, that is what Jesus brought to this earth. Amen. He asked Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. You know, the Bible, John is very interesting. He introduces, he, he, should I just introduce him? A man came to Jesus. Yeah? Now he talks about him. He was a rich man, <laughs> a ruler of the Jews, a leader among the Jews, and a religious man. Hallelujah. Nicodemus was a religious man <laughs> and a wealthy one for that matter. He comes to Jesus. He comes to where the gospel is because he saw Jesus. He went with his uh, brothers and sisters. He discussed Jesus. And he comes to Jesus now and tells him, we know <laughs> that you are a teacher who has come from God. Because no one can do the things that you do except God be with him. And then Jesus knew what he needed. Jesus told him, except a man, be born again. Well, the secret is to be born again. The answer is to be born again. Hallelujah. And the reason why I'm teaching this today, you know, some people think that, that you know, such a teaching is a teaching for evangelism. 
<laughs> I'm teaching this so that we understand who we are, where we came from, who we are. Amen. Hallelujah. We are the born again. And born again means there's an again experience. It's a second birth. Praise the Lord. This second birth is not the human birth. This second birth is a heavenly birth. It's a birth from heaven. We are born from God. We are born from above. Hallelujah. John chapter 3 verse 3. Read that. John chapter 4 verse 4. Praise the Lord. You are not born from beneath. We are born from above. Hallelujah. And when you are born, you know, when something is born, life comes out. Hallelujah. Do you know that? When, when, when something is born, life comes out. <laughs> you are not the old man who, was, who has been whitewashed. Now you look new. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, when you, you have been born again, another life has come out. It's new life. <laughs> the Bible says that Jesus, that the thief came to kill, to steal, and destroy. John 10.10. But Jesus came that we may have life. Life that we did not have. When you are born, another life comes out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We become partakers of the new life. The essence, the nature of God himself. The Bible says in John 3, that which is born of the flesh is of the flesh. Verse 5. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. It's a new spirit life. Amen. It's a new spiritual life. Hallelujah. Amen. Born of God. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. You are not just a convertee. <laughs> Hallelujah. A convertee. No. You are a born child of God. Amen. You know, we have to accept it to see it. You have to believe it, receive it, to see. Amen. You have to. That is where it starts. We are talking about our identity. Who am I? Eh? Eh? Who am I that you are mindful and love me? <laughs> He's mindful because we are born again. We are his children. We are the beloved, the accepted ones. The Bible says that he, if any man be in Christ, hallelujah, he is, he is, not will be in the sweet by and by, we shall see. No, 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 he is right now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If any man be born again, if any man be in Christ, he is, not he will be, not eventually he will, he is going to be one day. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 he, he, he is not at, he, let me, let him strive. Let him try, try in this hard life. At yashikilie muokozi. You know, hold on, hold on, and then one day you will be. Do you? Praise the Lord. <laughs> I hope you can see it. He is. Eh? Shikilia mwokozi. Then you get there. One day you will get there. No. Nah. Ah, 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 ah. ah, he is. <laughs> if any man be in Christ, he is. You are right now. Amen. Hallelujah. We are now. What are you? You are a new creature. Hallelujah. A new creature. <laughs> Do you remember the time when you were young, when your mom and your dad, you know those days when they were a young couple, they'd buy you new shoes and new clothes. I'm sure when you got older, I'm taking care of your school fees. <laughs> but the times when you are young, eh, when your mom passes through, uh, uh, passes next to uh, 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 um, a nice, uh, some, oh, there were no malls those days, some shop. You know, boutique. They were calling them boutiques. <laughs> eh, then they'd see a new shoe or a new, you know, 
cloth. You know what they do? They enter in, come back with them to you. And they give to you. And you feel new. You put on something new. Hallelujah. That, you remember that newness? Nguo ya Christmas. Eh? Nakumuka nguo za Christmas. It feels so nice. Praise the Lord. Now, that is the newness I'm describing. But, but it is higher than that. Hallelujah. I want you to see who that person inside you is. Is a new creature. Is a new creature. A creature that never existed before. Hallelujah. Was never there before. You know, a creation was, is, not, is something that was not made from pre-existing material. Amen. You are a new creature. 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 Now existing for the first time. New creature. New creature is a new creature. Praise the Lord. Forget the past. Forget those past guys. Forget that those old things. He's a new creature. Fresh creature. And let me tell you, this freshness is forever. This is not newness to get old. <laughs> you know, we know when something is new, it starts, it starts getting old. You know, news, the same news, news has come. Then later it stops being news because there are new things that, there are other things that come. Nothing else is coming that is better than that which you have received. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the newest thing. Amen. That's the newest couple in town. And then other couples come and replace those couples. No. <laughs> that new you is the newest forever. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Spiritually new. Will remain fresh will remain energized. Hallelujah. It is a fresh, have you looking, been looking for a fresh start? That is where it began. When you got born again. Hallelujah. Brand new. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This newness is not in the context of time. Hallelujah. Because we have the life eternal that God has given us. He came that we may have life and the life abundantly. That life is eternal. That life is eternal. It is not in the context of time. Praise the Lord. And I want to declare a new beginning for someone today in Jesus' name. Let me tell you, the understanding of that begins, causes you to begin another life. A new life. Amen. Where new things begin to happen. In your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. You are a new creature. That was an act of God. It is only God who creates. You know that. He's a new creature. <laughs> it is only God who creates. Praise the Lord. Jesus, the Spirit of God, did a miracle inside you. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. You see, what all we can do as men is to repair. Ikibunjika tunafanya repair. Or we can improve. <laughs> but you cannot improve what God has created. Amen. This new thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to Jesus. So we have been spiritually recreated in Christ. And the Bible says we, now in our souls we are being transformed into the image of Christ. In our spirits, that which is born of the spirit is spirit. You are new. You are fresh. You are perfect in Christ Jesus. But we are being transformed by the renewing of our minds in our souls so that we are able to conform to the image of Jesus Christ. Haven't you read this scripture, 1 John four seventeen? The Bible says... As Jesus is, so are we in this world. My son, my Uh, so my yo. Ujijue, so ujijue. As he is, so are we. As he is, so are we in this world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
So something new was created in you. Praise the Lord. Our nature is changed. It's not a, an, something we are trying to improve. We are not trying to work on anything. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. God has already improved, uh, has already changed us, has uh, renewed us. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you that this is not a theory. You know, someone may think that this is, uh, maybe it's a theory I need to put in my mind. It's something that I need to add on top of what I know. No. This is a fixed reality. Something that actually took place, a fact, a factual truth. Let me use the word true truth that took place, an actual experience that took place. Amen. It is not a process. Hallelujah. <laughs> it is an event that took place. One time, one day, when you surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In actually, Second Peter 1, 4, it says that we became partakers of the divine nature. The life and substance of divinity. Hallelujah. We partook of. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Hallelujah. He gave us a new nature. He gave us new desires. He gave us righteousness. He gave us peace. He gave us joy. <laughs> Haven't you read Romans 5, 5? The Bible says that the Holy Spirit broadly sheds his love in our hearts. Hallelujah. He broadly sheds the love of God in our hearts. New delights. New things. At the, what have come now that we are born again. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about the man inside. Because some people are maybe asking themselves. So why am I the way I am right now? Kwa nini niko hivi? If, if we are talking about all these new creation realities, what, why am I the way I am right now? I want to tell you that it is the man inside. It is the reborn spirit within you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you read Ezekiel 36, God said that he will, verse 26 to 27, he says that I will put a new heart in you. And then it says, and I will put a new spirit in you. And then he, on top of that, he says, I will put my spirit in you. Haven't you read that? Do you He says, a new one. It's a new one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's celebrate what God has done, guys. He says, I will put a new spirit. Eko, Soma, Ezekiel 36. I will put, who put it there? God. Is the, it's God who put it there. I will put it there. Why are we not celebrating what God has done? Why are you walking, oh, look at my, um, look at my life. Look at where. No, don't look at, look at those outer things. Look at what God has already done inside. Hallelujah. We need to start becoming conscious of what God has done. We need to start looking, turning our eyes to begin to see what is it that God has already done for us. And one of the things, actually the, the topmost thing he's done for us is his redemption and pro giving us that new, new life that is within us. Hallelujah. <laughs> First Peter 3, 4 calls him the hidden Man of the heart. You know, he's so hidden that even people don't know him. Psychologists, psychologists, praise the Lord. <laughs> Call him the soul. <laughs> Hallelujah. They talk about the soul. But there is a spirit in us. Amen. There's a spirit in us. Is it Second Corinthians 5? Uh, Second, um, Second Thessalonians. Second. 5.23. First Thessalonians. We'll find out. It says that we have the spirit, the soul, and the body. So within us. And 2 Corinthians 4.16 calls him the inward man. The inward man. Look at those words. The hidden man. The inward man. Huh? 
that only people who are born again can see. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's where the answers are. Hallelujah. That's where the answers are. Praise the Lord. And that's where God wants us to worship. Amen. How he wants in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Led by his spirit. Now he says, the Bible says, all the things are going to pass away. Uh -huh. Look at your Bible. In the same scripture, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. All the things are going to pass away. After, after deliverance. Amen. After, after deliverance prayer, all things are going to... Eh, generational curses are going to pass away. Re, re, read your Bible. So, <laughs> all things are going to pass away. It says, all the things are passed away. So, already we are learning that if there's a new creature, so that creature, there was an old one. In Genesis 2-7, there was a previous creature that was created. God breathed life into man. Amen. And he became a living, living soul. So there can be a dead soul. <laughs> he became a living soul with a body. Amen. Living soul, spiritual. Living soul with a body. Amen. Mona, yo. Living soul. Hallelujah. That clay came to life. And that clay became a human being. In the likeness of God. In the image. I believe it's his spirit. In the image and likeness of God. And then that man sinned. <laughs> Hallelujah. And sin, the Bible says, and sin entered. Amen. And there was now the nature of sin in man. The old that old nature was put on the cross by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That old nature was defeated. When did these things pass away? At the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not at the prayer of your pastor. At the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let, put, let us put people out of business today <laughs> for prayer, for offerings. No. At the cross of Jesus. At the cross of Jesus was the, were the old things passed away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. <laughs> the old things are gone. They are passed away. That is what it means. He was dealt with and left there. Now we walk out <laughs> in the newness of life. The Bible says that Jesus came in the likeness of sinful flesh. That he may deal with that sinful flesh. That he may come out free. Amen. And that he may become the head of the new creation. Did you know that Jesus is the head of the new creation? He is. He became among the firstborn among brethren, many brethren. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. That is Jesus. We have a human being in heaven right now. <laughs> and he is forever a human being who is God. <laughs> in heaven. That's why, I, that's why I worship the way I worship. In heaven. See the way the different political camps were trying to push their man. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we didn't push him. Him he entered. <laughs> he came from there, took the body, became like us. Hallelujah. And went back to heaven. Praise the Lord. Amen. And he's one of us. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, old things are passed away. They are not going to pass away. No, they are passed away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you guys, you will not win later. You have already won. Amen. Before the battle began, <laughs> you won. You won. 
And I want to tell you that you guys should have the same attitude as you go into these battles of life that you have already won Amen. because you are already born in Christ. Amen. A lion car behaves like a lion. Amen. Lions are kings because they are born kings. Amen. Amen. That's why you are celebrating the queen right now because she's a queen. She's just a human being like you who uses one bathroom, you has one mouth, can only sit in one car. She may have a fleet of cars, but she, she can only sit on one. But what makes her different is because she's a queen. So you also are born <laughs> a child of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And a new creature like Jesus. Praise the Lord. All things are passed away. You are free now. You are a winner now, not tomorrow. Even as you go into those battles, you're not going to win. You're not going there to, you know, to fight to win. You have already won before you started fighting. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I hope I'm helping one, someone here. Amen. Amen. We have already won. You are already freed. You'll not be freed later. You are free now. Amen. And as this knowledge comes in, freedom. Amen. Because you now know that you are free. They are passed away. They are gone. They are completely gone. Now look at the word. Oh, behold. Behold, Paul is saying, see. <laughs> Can you see? Can you realize? Recognize? Eh? Southern, Southern Englishmen say, because they reckon. <laughs> Can you reckon? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. See that something has happened. All things are become new. How many things? All, All things. There is nothing that was left to be redeemed. No. No. Including firstborns. Are you a firstborn here? Hey. <laughs> Are you a firstborn? You are a firstborn. Praise the Lord. All things. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are become new. Praise the Lord. Jesus did not hang on the cross and left some things hanging somewhere. He hung there with all things old. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now all things are, are, he says are, not will become, they are become new. Praise the Lord. So you are innocent new creatures with no past. <laughs> Revived, refreshed, restored, renewed, revitalized, changed, all those things. Hallelujah. Now all you need to do is to walk in the newness of life. Look at Colossians chapter, chapter 3, verse 10. We end there. Know that you are a new man inside. All things have become new. Know it. Behold means know. Recognize. Realize. Then he says, you know, uh, 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 that you have been renewed. Then he says, so in Colossians 3, 10, he says, walk in the newness of this life. Colossians 3, verse 10, he says, we have put on. Put off. Nine says, put off the old man. Uh-huh. Now it says, put on the who? The new man. Which is renewed in? And after the image of him that created. Are you seeing? So are you seeing there's a new man in you? <laughs> so forget the past. Forget the old man. He's dead on the cross. I know you have a flesh. I know some of you are asking, hey, what about the flesh? No, it's because you are, you are not reckoning that you have a new man. You have a new man within you. Put him on. Stop putting on the old one. Put on the new man. Live in the spirit now. Because you have a new man within you who is renewed in knowledge after the image of Christ. Let me show you another scripture that talks about uh, 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 the, the new creation. 
Galatians chapter 6. Hi, praise the Lord. Verse 15, the Bible says, For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor an, but what? A new creature. So if you want things to be unveiled, <laughs> hallelujah, it is the new creature. Circumcision does not avail anything. Doesn't make you a new person. It doesn't make you accepted before, before Jesus Christ, before God the Father. And even not being circumcised, that's what he's saying, doesn't, doesn't make you, you know, accepted before Christ. What has made you accepted is you being a new creature. Praise the Lord. It's not these baptisms, not rules, not laws. No. You have been made by God a new creature. Embrace the new creation that you are. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And let me tell you something. Out of that new life, new things are going to be seen in your life. Praise the Lord. Most of the time, some of these things we see them, it's because we are focusing too much on them. The bad dreams. Oh, I'm being chased around at night. <laughs> Someone is chasing me. You know? Huh? Uh, 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 things are not working well in my life. It's because we have not realized who we are in Jesus. So let's begin to realize who we are in Jesus. And let me tell you, we are going to experience the life that we have.